play style because they often win so early that the Aurelian Soul would never really be able to get to his full power. But if you're drafting like this and you've opted into a, a Zeri and scaling AD carry matchup, that's certainly where you're going to have I hate it. I hate it. I, this is why k Droll is gone. <laughs> okay? Like, this is it. I also don't like oh, my it um, to be totally honest with you guys at home, I'm sorry. But <laughs> oh, my God. Like, guys, I have been reading MTG lore. The last few, the last few days, I have been, I've con been consumed with MTG lore, okay? And I've been reading all about Phyrexia. It's a, it's a really, it's a very morbid, um, it's a very morbid story. It's really fucked up. I would talk about it more if more people were interested. But anyways, the TLDR is that I really feel like Season 13 is definitely the Phyrexia of League of Legends. All will become one, okay? Zeri, Zeri Lulu, Lucian Nami, Lee Sin, Sejuani Vai Wukong, they are trying to assimilate us. Okay, they are trying. <laughs> this, is, this is actually the fucking glistening oil of League of Legends. <laughs> this is so bad, I can't. <laughs> I can't. Oh my god. Oh, these traps, man. I can't. I can't. Run for the hills. Run for the fucking hills, man. Run for the Run for the fucking as now, actually, some supports will be taken away here. The Nautilus. <laughs> the Nautilus was the one I thought T1 might grab because I think they want it in this draft against Zeri, regardless of what AD carry they're going to play. But since they prioritized this flex uh, of the Gragas Jace, they will use that opportunity <laughs> oh to play it. Uh, Thresh, I don't think we'll see as a ban here. Might see a targeted ban on something like the Aphelios here or a Drake. Oh my god! Like could ban Kalista. Right now, I feel pretty good about that because Gragas could also be flexed to support in this particular case. And you know how well uh, T1 has played various amount of Kalista lanes. So if, if I was going to ban, I'd be thinking about Draven, I'd be thinking about Kalista here. You've already taken away the Nautilus. The, the worst support you could face is the Zeri lane. And it is just going to be Aphelios. Could be Aphelios Thresh going back to an older era. <laughs> yeah, Aphelios hasn't seen a lot of success so far, but, you know, it is Kuma, so we'll, we'll see how it goes from there. This is going to be his first game of Aphelios this season. Oh, Bulldog, man, he is really teasing it. And against the Gragas, you'd feel pretty okay about that lane. Against the Jace, you're doing a lot worse uh, about playing Aurelian Soul. It's just so hard to pick this up when the threat of Jace Lee Sin is so prevalent. And we'll see the Renekton come through here very late. I'm fucking and crying. The, the I'm crying from how bad it is. I just, here, can't. I just can't. I just can't. play around pop side in a matchup like this with the Gragas facing the big dude. But you don't necessarily have to go for the Sejuani playing around top. <laughs> this is the hype moment because you know... This is a strong 2v2 for Gunnar It's buffed on this patch, the Q build that was being mentioned by Chronicle uh, earlier. <laughs> <laughs> we've gone back in time a little bit here, and Karia plays this iconic Thresh. We have the Aphelios here for Guma. He's a great uh, Aphelios player. Uh, One of the first games yeah. where I realized that oh my God, was I love it. to be goaded in the future oh, was fuck. actually his pike. First of all, oh, all shit. Like, wow. This okay, was good. His mechanics are 10 out of 10, actually. Oh, fuck. But then with the moment where it kind of sealed the deal all right, we're good. in everybody's mind, oh, started shit. playing Thresh, we're good. Okay, we're good. We were like, oh, okay, he's actually just hmm? the best. And that was like oh, two, three years God. ago. So, all right, we're good. We're good. Uh, we're good. <laughs> Local yeah, man goes insane. Right here in <laughs> <laughs> shit. Oh, my God. Area.